Hello. There seems to be a general misconception uh, that uh, stroke and uh, heart attack are the same, but uh, they absolutely are two different uh, entities. And what I'd like to start off uh, by saying is that uh, think of it as a brain attack and not heart attack. This is a two-part presentation. You are now watching the first part. So what exactly is a stroke? Like I said just now, think of it as a brain attack. Now brain gets oxygen and nourishment from blood, like all the other organs in the human body. Now this blood is uh, uh, flowing through a meshwork of blood vessels within the brain tissue. When the blood flow to the brain is cut off suddenly, that portion of the brain does not get oxygen or any nourishment. This in turn can lead to permanent brain damage or even death depending upon the severity of the event. This event is called stroke. Broadly speaking there are two types of strokes. The most common mechanism is uh, when there is a clot in one of the blood vessels blocking therefore the blood flow to that portion of uh, brain. We call this an ischemic stroke. Ischemia means uh, restriction of uh, blood supply to um, any tissue. The second mechanism is uh, when one of the blood vessels that is coursing through the brain tissue it ruptures causing bleeding into that portion of the brain. Now we call this a hemorrhagic stroke. As you can see there is a huge difference between these two types of strokes. This is a pictorial depiction of an ischemic stroke. In the lower right hand side you see um, the blood vessel in a magnified view uh, showing um, plaque buildup. We've talked about plaque in a heart attack and uh, some other topics previously. So this plaque buildup uh, with clot formation on top of it is causing complete obstruction to the flow of blood and uh, in the center image you see the uh, cross section of uh, the brain and uh, a faint blue discoloration is uh, basically showing the area that is not receiving any oxygen or nourishment because uh, of the clot blocking the flow of blood. Now this is uh, a hemorrhagic stroke when there is a ruptured blood vessel causing bleeding into the brain tissue as you can see again in the um, on the lower right hand side uh, the blood vessel uh, in a magnified view shown um, um, with a, a break in it causing blood to leak out that's a ruptured blood vessel this blood is leaking into the brain tissue and as the blood is not flowing through the the vessels like it's supposed to what happens is that that portion of the brain tissue is not getting the proper nourishment again leading to damage and subsequently um, destruction of the tissue. This is a hemorrhagic stroke. So what exactly can stroke do? Well, quite a few things. Unfortunately stroke is a uh, a very significant event in a person's life and uh, symptoms have to be taken extremely seriously. So uh, stroke can lead to paralysis, complete paralysis or weakness affecting one side of the body. It can cause permanent speech and comprehension disability. Also blindness complete or partial can result from a stroke and certainly memory problems can appear from uh, uh, having a stroke. And there are many many other types of defects depending upon the portion of the brain that's involved. So the bottom line I would say is this if stroke is not recognized and treated within the first few hours it can lead to death or permanent disability. Now let's go over the warning signs of uh, uh, stroke. 
there is an acronym that I've used here it's uh, F A S S T or FAST let's see what it stands for F is basically when the face is uh, gets numb or the facial muscles are distorted on one side or if there is a sudden loss of uh, complete or partial vision on, on one side A stands for arm or leg weakness or inability to move one side of the body S stands for speech problems speech is uh, garbled not clear or the person is unable to uh, speak at all or he or she is having difficulty understanding what the other person is saying another S stands for sudden very severe headache um, we say that if you've had the worst headache of your life that has to be taken very very seriously and T is the time of onset when did any of these symptoms start the key thing to remember is that not everyone who's having a stroke is going to experience all these symptoms if any one of these symptoms is present then that is an indication of uh, an impending stroke and that person will be will need to be taken to the hospital immediately let us recap uh, the symptoms of an impending stroke one more time going clockwise from the top facial distortion facial numbness on one side deviation of mouth to one side loss of vision either completely or partially in one or both eyes all of these are symptoms of an impending stroke A is arm weakness or leg weakness on one side or complete absence of movement on one side of the body again uh, a symptom of uh, an impending stroke S speech problems either inability to speak or difficulty comprehending what the other person is saying or speech is garbled and another S sudden severe headache the worst headache of your life and the image in the middle T is the time of onset when did the symptoms start remember stroke is a medical emergency if you or your loved one is having one or more of these symptoms immediate medical attention is absolutely warranted in the second part of this presentation we will talk about the um, risk factors find out if there are ways to prevent a stroke and also management of stroke.